Hello, Captains. This time we land at Corfu International Airport and set off on a new yachting route in the Ionian Sea. This yacht route passes through the islands of Corfu, Paxos, Lefkada, Meganissi, and Ithaca. The length of the route is 188 nautical miles. It is suitable for yachtsmen with some experience, as there will be sections with difficult navigation and rather long passages. Arrival Day, Guvia Marina Guvia Marina is the largest on the islands of Corfu. All charter companies providing yachts for rent are based in it. Marina provides yachtsmen with all conceivable services up to the pool. From the marina to the old town of Corfu, half an hour by bus. We highly recommend that yachtsmen renting yachts in Guvia Marina arrive a day or two earlier or stay a day or two in order to take a leisurely look at the sights of Corfu town. The city of Corfu is almost entirely composed of attractions that are worth seeing. First of all, these are the old fortress, the Cathedral of St. Spiridon, the Cathedral of Panagia Spiliatissa, the Church of Panagia Mandrakin, the Temple of Artemis, the Byzantine Museum, the Museum of Banknotes, and much more. Day 1 from Corfu to Savota The first crossing of our journey starts at the yacht marina of Guvia on the island of Corfu and ends at one of the anchorages of the small archipelago of Savota. The length of the passage is 24 nautical miles. The path of your yacht will pass through the Sea of Corfu. The general direction is from northwest to southeast. The Savota Islands or the port of Murdos are ideal for the first day of a yacht trip. The passage is only 24 nautical miles and a wide choice of moorings for every taste. You can moor a yacht near the embankment in the bustling resort town of Murtos. You can stand in the monastery bay at the pontoon of a nightclub, or you can hide in the silence of a wild bay. However, wherever you stay on your yacht, there will be clear water and good swimming opportunities. If you have not been able to find a place for your yacht on the quay or marina of Mordos, which is possible as many charter yachts in Corfu go here, or you prefer to anchor, then as a rule, you can find a place for anchorage in the channel between the mainland and the nearest of the islands, St. Nicholas Island. Unfortunately, the best and most protected place is a small bay at the northeast end of the island, which is currently an equipped moorage with bow and stern moorings, so yachts should anchor farther away. Depths in the center of the channel are 6 to 9 meters. Some yachts are stretched ashore. Further south, the depths in the channel decrease to 2 meters. Please note that this channel is used by numerous water taxis, small tourist boats and other watercraft that take tourists from Mordos to and from the beaches in the south. Day 2 from Savota to Preveza Since we are heading towards the island of Lefkada, and we have to pass the channel between the mainland and Lefkada, which presents certain difficulties in terms of navigation, we choose a place to spend the night as close as possible to the entrance to this channel. We do this in order to pass dangerous places in the morning and have a margin of time for the transition of the next day. The beginning of today's route is not particularly difficult. The only remark, you only need to go into the straits between the islands of Savota, St. Nicholas, and the mainland. They are very small and the risk is not justified. You will save a mile and a half in distance, but you won't gain anything in time because you will have to go through the straits very slowly. And we need to save our nerves. It is advisable to approach Preveza before dark, as it is located in a narrow strait connecting the Ionian Sea with the Gulf of Ambrakikos. The entrance to the strait and the way along the strait must be passed on a yacht only along the fairway, around which there are extensive shoals. The fairway is marked with buoys. Depths in the fairway are about 6 meters. The city yacht Marina Preveza is located in the northern part of the harbor. The marina has 300 berths for yachts on the water at five piers. The piers have water and electricity. The marina has showers and toilets, mini market, playground, cafe, bar, restaurant, car rental, washing machines, and dryers. You can also moor at the city embankments. It should be noted, at the southern end of this section, that there is a drain through which raw sewage is sometimes drained, so you should not become someone who has sensitive organs of smell here. Day 3, from Preveza to Meganissi Island. The transition is quite short, 18 nautical miles. The first half of the yacht's journey lies through the channel between the island of Lefkada and the mainland. It is quite difficult from a navigational point of view narrow channels surrounded by shoals. It is better to leave Preveza early. A significant part of the way will have to go through the channels under the motor, and therefore there is no point in waiting for it to inflate. It is usually quiet in the morning. Before entering the channel between Leftis and the mainland from Preveza 7.8 nautical miles, 
The entrance to the canal is the key point of today's itinerary. The entrance is small and narrow. The terror fairway is marked and periodically deepened. However, you need to be careful, because around the shoal and the depth on the fairway may be different than on the map. From the entrance to the channel to the drawbridge 0.3 nautical miles. From 6 o'clock to 21 o'clock, the bridge opens every hour, so you may have to wait a bit. By noon, many knots accumulate and chaos ensues. Therefore, it is better to pass this section as early as possible. After the drawbridge, we continue to move along the channel under the motor for another 3M. After leaving the channel, you can set the sails. Statistically, the wind will be fair. Navigation difficulties are over. Day 4 from Meganissi to Ithaca The length of the passage on a yacht from the island of Meganissi to the island of Ithaca is 22 nautical miles. The path from Meganissi to Ithaca passes through the so-called Inner Sea. Meganissi Island can be bypassed both from the east and from the west. Tailwinds are expected in summer. Vathi is the main harbor of Ithaca. It is popular primarily with Yasmin traveling on chartered yachts, as it provides a range of mooring options, as well as good anchorage near the city. Shelter in the harbor is relatively good in the prevailing westerly and northwesterly winds, but daytime breezes can make anchoring very uncomfortable, especially on the South Quay. Day 5 Ithaca, Paxos The length of the passage is 64 nautical miles. With prevailing northwesterly winds, this will mostly be attack, so we leave at dawn. The skipper of the yacht should organize the watch. There are no navigation problems along the way. The final destination is the port of Laka in the north of the island of Paxos. Laka, a small port on the northern tip of the island of Paxos with a pier for yachts and anchorage. The bay is closed from all winds, except for strong north and northeast winds. They can bring an unpleasant wave into the bay. Depths at the entrance of the yacht to the bay are mainly from 6 to 8 meters, and in the places of anchorage of yachts, 3 to 6 meters. Anchorages are possible throughout the bay. The pier on the city embankment can accommodate 10 to 12 yachts moored stern or bow to the pier at its anchor. Anchor at a depth of 4 to 6 meters on sand with algae holds well. Depths near the embankment are 2 to 2.5 meters. The deepest part of the pier is northeast. Yachts moored on the embankment can replenish their water supply using a long hose hanging on the wall at the western end of the embankment. There is one stand for connecting to electricity, the key to which is in the nearest cafe. You can get it after prepayment. The town has two small supermarkets, a butcher shop, and two bakeries where yachtsmen can replenish their supplies. Day 6. Paxos Corfu Crossing is 30 nautical miles. Tacking is expected under prevailing northwesterly winds. It is better to leave early in order to arrive at the marina before dark. There are no navigation problems along the way. The proposed version of the route is designed for those who like to sail a lot on a yacht, while spending little time on the shore. You can easily turn this route into a leisurely two-week itinerary, allowing you to devote more time to sightseeing of the Ionian Islands and just relax. Well, now I say goodbye to you, but I hope not for long. Don't forget to click subscribe and also a bell and write to me about what other yachting routes to tell you. Goodbye, Captain. See you.